I want to talk about a character in the Bible who was on a mat, had four friends carrying the mat. The story in Luke chapter 5 is a simple one. Jesus is traveling around from place to place, and wherever he ends up, he teaches. And at this point, he's in a house. So the house is filled with people to hear Jesus teach. And outside the house, there's people lined up to hear t- people teach. And outside the windows, and, and there's just no way to get in. And all of a sudden, along come these four men carrying a friend of theirs who was a paralytic, who couldn't move himself. But they're bringing him because they want him to meet Jesus. Let's pick this up at Luke chapter 5, verse 18. Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on his mat through the tiles into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Jesus ended up doing more than that. He healed him. That man came and carried on a mat by four of his friends, and he went out walking under his own strength, God's strength in him, empowered for a whole new life. Here's the picture, and, and, and that, the passage goes on, and there's a fascinating conflict between Jesus and the religious leaders. There's a lot more in the story. What I want to focus on is how this guy got to Jesus, his journey to Jesus. Four friends carried him. He couldn't get there on his own. They brought him to Jesus. When they got there, there was no way to get him near Jesus, so they did something very unusual. Uh, in those days, the, 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 the roof in many homes were made of sort, of sort of sticks and boards and mud and grass, and they went on top of the house. There was normally a way to kind of climb up the back of a house. They went on top of the house, and they made a hole in the roof, and they lowered this man into Jesus. Talk about an aggressive group of friends. <laughs> I mean, they, they want their friend to encounter Jesus, and he was transformed by his encounter with Jesus. But here's the picture. Here is somebody in a time of need, and here are four people who have an ability to help meet that need. And you put those two things together, and something great happened. He got brought to Jesus, and his life was changed forever. I want to suggest to you today that you are either on the mat in a time of need, and you should let other people help you. It could be an emotional mat, a relational mat, a financial mat, a spiritual mat. It could be a health mat. I mean, it could be lots of different things. But in a time of need and struggle, you're either on the mat or you're in a place where you have enough strength to help carry somebody else's mat. Not by yourself, but in community with other people. And sometimes we're actually on the mat in one part of our life and helping carrying mats in the other part of our life. You know, there's times where we're struggling in one area and we need help and we, and we humbly let people help us. There's other times where we say, but you know what? Even while I'm helping here uh, or I need help here, I can help over here. Sometimes we're on the mat and carrying mats at the same time. But what we're not doing is standing back and just kind of watching and observing and not relating. We're just, you know, we're saying we need to be engaged. We're either on the mat or helping to carry the mat. 